Hey guys, it's been a really long time since we played anything Pikmin related, like a good at least four years, and you know... You, and you, whose fault is that? <laughs> you left us to die! Actually, I left you to live on your own without having to... <laughs> um, die! <laughs> well, that's that's your fault, okay? You little shits. <laughs> and, so, and... <laughs> so, like, when are we gonna do a commentary of StarCraft 2? <laughs> we don't need to construct additional pylons. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, uh, it's been a really long time, and you might be wondering, isn't Ted the big Pikmin fan? Why'd he slack on this one for so long? Well, yes, I am indeed a huge Pikmin fan. Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 3 are some of my all-time favorite games, but my relationship with Pikmin 2 is a little bit more complicated than e that. E either, e either way, you did slack on this, <laughs> getting to this one, so... Yeah, it was massive procrastination. It's... It's actually very interesting how, like, my history with this game. This is one of the sequels that I was the most pumped about way back when it came out. The wait between Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2 was three years, which, you know, isn't that bad, bad. But it kept on getting delayed. Like, it was supposed to come out in, like, 2002, and then it got delayed to 2003, 2004. So every time a new issue of Nintendo Power came out, I was scanning that thing for new Pikmin 2 uh, info. And so I finally got it, and after like six months, um, I was bad with my game discs back then. My ga my Pikmin 2 disc got scratched and wouldn't work anymore, so there was a long stretch. Oh no, it delayed a few years. <laughs> if only you knew how a Zelda fans feel. Uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I actually, I really wish that my Pikmin 2 GameCube copy wasn't broken, because those things are really expensive nowadays, so it would be a nice collector's item, but... You know, whatever. I pay 50 bucks for mine. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's... So I went a really long time without playing Pikmin 2, and I remember really liking it when I was a kid. But going back, it's... It, it's complicated. We'll we'll get to it. Anyway, um... Wait, we got 16 whole parts to discuss why you were so hesitant to get to this game. There's a re there's I mean, reason. on the plus side, once we're done, we go to Pikmin 3. Yeah, I'm I'm really pumped to get to Pikmin 3. It's one of my... That's yeah. one of my favorite games, like, ever. But anyway, uh, story time. Uh, this game takes place, like, literally right after the events of Pikmin 1. Like, I'm not even joking. Olimar just got back. We just fixed that thing. And they repossess it. First off, I don't think that he can... I don't think that the president of the company can sell Olimar's ship, because it is Olimar's ship. Um, like, he owns that. He spent his own money on uh, on that thing, he mentions in the oh, first game. <laughs> we have ten thousand coins to pay off, and Mario New Mario Two isn't out yet. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, Olimar's life savings are literally in that in that ship right now. I'm I'm not joking. His piggy bank, which we got for beating the final boss of the first game, that's his life savings, and they're just they're gone. Okay. We're repossessing your SS stuff in favor of the SS Revolution. <laughs> Might be called something else by the end of it, but rest assured, it's maybe some revolution. The SS you Cafe! You shake things up, all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, um... Yeah, so while the first game was about, like, saving your life, this game is about capitalism. So, <laughs> we're going to go to an undeveloped land and use a uh, an unwilling a native force in order to make as much money as possible. So, Olimar is Christopher Columbus. They're the resources for our own benefit. <laughs> yeah. Olimar is Christopher Columbus confirmed. Um, so Olimar yeah. hasn't even gotten to go home yet. <laughs> yeah, so Olimar didn't even get to say hello to his wife and kids. Like do anything. Like the moment he sets foot on his own planet, he's shipped he's shipped right back. The poor sack. And also Louie's with us now. Hi 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 Louie. Uh, Louie, you dolt. <laughs> ugh, I do not like Louie. I, I do not like... I hear a lot of disdain for Louie, and I only partially know the reason why, but uh, does it go beyond story as a gameplay? Um, okay, so gameplay-wise... Gameplay-wise, they they're they're not they're not different at all. Well, like, they, the only thing's cosmetic, so, like, his design's okay. Like, he looks kind of doofusy, which kind of fits. I don't like his sound, though, for his whistle and his, um, and his command with the C-stick. I'm not really a fan of it, but that's, uh, it's, it's all story. It spoiler alert. Uh, Louie is the entire reason why Hakata, uh, Hakata Freight went out of business. He ate one of their, like, they were shipping. He ate their, <laughs> he ate their golden pick pick carrot shipment. Yeah. And it, then blamed it on a random space bunny. Yeah. So it's, it's his fault. And 
when if you'll read in the email messages you get from the from the president that like the president is like going into hiding from the loan sharks he got the the loans from. So yeah, Louis a dick. And also there's Pikmin 3, which we'll get to when we play Pikmin 3. But um he's he's not my favorite there either. He's just an asshole. Now It's also the fact that he's named after Luigi. Yeah, so Olimar is a um well, in, in Japanese, it's a little bit more obvious because there's no L in there, but he's an anagram of Mario, and Louis is Luigi, so... Um, cool, I guess. Of course. <laughs> I mean, it would have made more sense if Louis was green, but I guess they didn't want to be too on the nose about it, so, you know, whatever. Anyway, just... But what a nose. <laughs> anyway, just uh, in case you guys can't tell, I am playing the Wii version. Uh, the Wii version is generally, I think, the better version. Um, the pointer controls are fantastic. I love them. It's I, almost like this is an RTS. <laughs> yeah, so the pointer controls, I think the pointer controls are the way to play all three Pikmin games. You can play uh, Pikmin 1 with them using the Wii version of Pikmin 1. And you can also use um, the, uh, like a like a gamepad and use the GameCube controls for Pikmin 3, I believe, if you use the Pro Controller or just the gamepad. But honestly, the, the pointer controls are the way to go. So it's really the IR pointing is what the Wii did best with motion controlling anyway so it just it just I mean the only thing that worked with it no the like using as long like waggling in mario galaxy worked i never really had an instance where it didn't detect a glorified it. button press it is a glorified button press but it worked like th that you're saying we're not talking its function we're talking whether it works and it works yeah so anyway um one of the big things in this game is is that you can control louis and olimar separately this is supposed to facilitate multitasking but it's not ever really used in an interesting uh, way or needed. We're, we're, we're getting all Resident Evil Zero up in here. Yeah. Uh. It's, here's the thing. I get why they tried to do it, because one of the big things in Pikmin 1 was multitasking. You had a time limit, so you needed to get as much things done as quickly as possible, so you had to do more than one thing at a time. That makes sense. Here's the thing. The biggest change from Pikmin 1 to Pikmin 2 is, is that the time limit is gone. And I get why the time limit is gone, because when the first game came out, the biggest complaint was, the game's too short, I don't like the time limit, let me do things at my own pace. And so, I feel like, like, I, that's not an unfair criticism of the original game, but I feel like... I think they went too far in the other direction with this. Yeah, this game is, it's an instance of overcorrection, I think, whereas, like, yes, you can multitask a little bit easier with Louie, but you don't need to anymore if there's no, if there's no time limit. So, it... it I think Pigment 3 did it the best where as long as you're making progress you're fine but you can't dilly dally. Yeah, you can't He's... just stand in you can't just stand still, but the I think if you get all the fruit you have like over 100 days in order to beat yeah. that game. So you're you're, yeah, you're so not As long as you're making progress you're fine. Just... Yeah. Yeah. Here here's my question. How did the ship know what a Pikmin was? Uh so Olimar, okay, so the ship can talk for some reason. Um Olimar apparently like wrote up all of his inf information on uh, Pikmin and whatnot, and the ship's reciting it to Louie, because he, he skipped that day in training. Louie's adult. <laughs> yeah, so... Th well, the, the captain's logs from the pre previous game is probably what you're using for reference. Yeah. So. Thank you, Kirk. <laughs> uh, so, the the ship does mention, like, Olimar's notes every once in a while, so that's their, that's their excuse for having him spat out the tutorial stuff, whereas in the first game, it was just all Olimar's voice, and it was him discovering, oh, I can use the B button to call my whistle, and the Pikmin will come forward. But, yeah, it's, um, a lot of things in Pikmin 2 are very similar to the original Pikmin. Like, first off, a lot of assets are kept, obviously. Um, it's, it's almost like all the regions are just recolors of the first game. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that when it becomes a little bit more pronounced, because uh, the first, uh, this region, the Valley of Repose, I think is the best at disguising that, I think. I believe it's supposed to be based off the Forest Naval, but this one, this area does the best at disguising that. The, when we get to... The second and third area, though, I, I'll have things to say. So, yeah. Unfortunately, it is the first day of Pikmin. So, by design, it is very, very slow. And they make you... Are you ready for product placement? <laughs> Duracell! <laughs> it's, a, it's a Duracell battery. Not just that, a D battery. So well, Joke's yeah. on you. I use Energizer for my Wii remotes. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. I don't believe any of the product placement ran... Uh, like changed in between versions so i believe it's almost not all that the, i know of no. it's almost all the same stuff so i'm actually you know now that i'm thinking about it that might have been the reason why the wii version took so long 
to get over to the States, because I remember the Wii version was in Europe for, like, years before we got it in the States, so it must it might have been a product placement issue, but... Licensing issue, yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, it's... I don't... I, it, it's a very family-friendly Nintendo game. I don't know why any of the... Uh... Licensors would say no. It, you know, I bet you it's not the it's not the licensors themselves, but Nintendo not wanting to say, "Hey, Duracell, do you mind letting us use your image again in the Wii port or something like that?" Like either being too cheap or too lazy. That's my that's letting, my guess. Letting us, you, they paid to have it there in the first place. <laughs> uh, actually, actually, I think it was kind of the opposite. The reason they got funding for it was because they licensed out items in the game. That makes some yeah, extra maybe, money. Maybe uh, a product or a product placement for Dorsal is one of the reasons why Pikmin 2 saw a green light. Yeah. But like I said, the GameCube was a weird time. Monkey Ball had product placement from Dole. Yeah, well, Pikmin, it's not like Pikmin 1 was not a success. The game sold very well. Although, strangely enough, in Japan, the single the single for the for the song used in the commercials outsold Pikmin. So, you know, that's... Yeah. that's well, that makes a reasonable amount of sense because everyone had CD players and not everyone had a GameCube. And it's not entirely out there. Fucking uh, Konami in Metal Gear franchise, I think starting with Snake Eater, Mountain had, Dew. Or at least Peace Walker had Mountain Dew Doritos. And oh, is that the what the Mountain Dew? Wait, so like the, the Mountain Dew shirt on Snake isn't like a like a Photoshop? That actually, that's no, that Doritos. was that was in the game. No. Well, you <laughs> no, know, actually in the game. It's yeah. not like this is some archaic thing that doesn't happen anymore. Let's all <laughs> take noodles. a moment to appreciate <laughs> Cup Noodle Fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and Link, uh, show, and Link showing his own noodles. console. Uh, they kind of lost their footing in Cup Noodle 13, but by 15, they really nailed it up. Uh, yeah, the Cup Noodle MMO is a little bit weird, though. Like, it sucked at first, but it got a lot better. <laughs> then it got a lot better when they actually put boiling water in the soup. <laughs> yeah, it's... So, here's the thing. I don't think they needed the product placement in order to in order to get the game made, because the game sold over a million copies. It was, it was successful. It's more, I think, they wanted to nail in the fact that, yes, this is indeed Earth. Because there were there were subtle hints like there were bottles and cans and whatnot. <laughs> and what describes Earth better than a Duracell battery? It's, it's, so where do so where do the Inklings come in? Uh, I don't know. Like the the Nintendo oh, timeline is bizarre. Used Energizer. <laughs> At the timeline splits. You know the 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 Splatoon. <laughs> yeah, the age of Duracell and the age of Energizer. Yeah, the the Splatoon t- uh, timeline and the age of t- uh, Duracell happens in the timeline where Link lost to Ganon in Ocarina of Time, uh, and. The age of the age of Duracell with Pikmin is the Wind Waker timeline, and um, I don't know. Like Animal Crossing is its own thing. And the generic Snore brand batteries. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The heavy duty with the little electric cat in the front. <laughs> ah, the those. level where you wait for the Pikmin to carry something heavy to you. Uh, Louis, Louis, why, <laughs> why did you make me do this, Louis? <laughs> Look at me in your fucking eyes, and then he opens up. Oh, close them, close them. Uh, so you, I, for me, I don't know. the The first day is pretty much always like this. I um, but I feel like there's more waiting in Pikmin 2's first day than Pikmin One's first day. I don't know if that's a psychological well, it's, it's, thing. I think I think it's a bigger area. Yeah, because you have to go all the way around with the with the uh, with the Duracell battery, and in the first, it's a pretty short walk to get the uh, to get the engine to the ship in Pikmin One. Though for my money. Pikmin 3 has the best day one by far. Still a bit slow, but you're doing more things. There's enemies to fight. It's it's more energetic there. But they... Well, I'm calling batteries courage reactors from now on. Yeah, he gives them a little <laughs> cute name every time you pick one up. That's actually one That's of the... That's part of the marketing to sell them. <laughs> yeah, the, um, I think if you eventually... Um, unfortunately, I'm not showing these off just for time, but uh, there's like... Don't a... watch a meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um if you eventually like you'll unlock a like a a slideshow where you can look at all the enemies and all of the um all of the treasures you find. The enemies have like scientific notes by Olimar and if you beat the game uh 100 I don't know if it's 100% or just get uh Louis back uh afterwards, Louis starts like doing culinary tips with all the enemies, which is a little bit weird. <laughs> um but the the ship has like sales pitches for all of the for all of the all of the treasures you can find, which is really, which is really cute. I I like the names too. It's another thing that you see in Pikmin Three. They they kind of pull from that. Captain's log, study now. We landed on the planet that my predecessor talked about. I looked for the data on the indigenous creatures. Jordy told me to take a look. 
It's in a book. Some weird synth begin to play after that, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> Reading Pikmin! <laughs> Available now with all your local courage reactors.